guys, welcome back to more Horizon Forbidden West. And I forgot what we are doing. What's the... the, 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 the quest? What's the name of the... The Point of the Lands. Alright. So write it down. Sorry for that. Like the Point of the Lands. The Point of the lands bitch <clears throat> and guys thank you very much for your support leave a like subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to know when i release a new content oh, let's do this we're supposed to go somewhere over there ah. I mean, what is this uh, Babylon Tower? There you are. I have a bad feeling about this. I don't know. I could pull this thing out of my face. What? What, what? Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. Oh, I guess we are gonna climb that shit. Mm-hmm. You! I know you see me. Uh, maybe I can jump to that ledge behind me. Behind you? Uh-huh. Tap without touching either stick to jump backwards from hanging position. Okay, use R to move the camera to look for another climb. Ah! Uh -huh. Use R. What the? And I used. Uh, so. Uh, okay. That works. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Now what? <laughs> no. Uh, 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 there you go. Dun dun dun. Now where? Uh, be able to jump back and reach those ropes behind me. Oh, jump, 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 jump. L2 and I have to tap. I'm glad this game reminds me of it, because otherwise I would forget. <clears throat> Look what I did. You stupid asshole. Okay. Quickly, Ella, quickly. Tom, Tom, Tom. Now, how to cross over to the spire? Looks like I can use my pull caster on that. Should be able to get up there now. Oh, shit, now we're jumping. was helping me when he gave me his lance. <clears throat> it looks like he tricked me. 
Cosa c'è qui? Transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? Why would he do that? Well, if I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Hopefully the transmission note at the top will tell me. Well, it doesn't look like I can keep climbing this way. Oh shit, which way? Reach out with R and tap to jump between distant climbing handholds. Oh yeah, but which is where? Same shit on this side. Uh huh, there is one. Silas tricked you, woman. Let's see. An elevator. I see you finally figured it out. To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You rigged the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be... extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't one of those Gaia backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Eloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll come find you, Robert. Yes. Well, the coordinates make it simple enough. Even for you. Inside it, and it transformed, almost like the day of the battle. 
I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. But that can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. The tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it. The Tanakh. And they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Art, a fragile peace has been negotiated. And indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. The way you two attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Ah, the Sun King. Aloy, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now, please? It's a min. Quiet. It's true. Vitamin. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace, but I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. Avad, this is all very kind, but I. With it. Vanasha. Quick. Better hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? Try it on. It's beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. What a beauty! I need to attach the master override to my new spear. Modify your spear. Bunch around here I can use. Let's talk to these people. The sculptor wanted something even bigger, twice the size, covered in gold and jewels. Jesus. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Noct territory. By the sun, the Tanakh? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but after years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. When you say, years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. The Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Barren Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was tricky. What makes this coming embassy so special? Oh, just like today, it is special because of the guest. 
Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean Raider? No. Not in this case. Fashav is my cousin. Nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. And has been held ever since. Edelman looks happy. And you got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. He's turning into a fine young man. Which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? Yes, well... I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. <laughs> but I find I'm always... Trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. Your cousin, Vashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years. Tanakh emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? Well, I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian. Where he belongs. If I see him, I will. How did you get the Tanakh to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> the Tanakh like tiaras? <laughs> More like metals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions, and the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. I... Uh, I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you, or hold you back, but I need to know, when your mission is over, will you return to Meridian and stay long enough for us to spend time to... Do you want to meet a uh, maid with her, dear sir? <laughs> what the hell is this? Flashbacks offer moments of emotional choice. Ah, oh, you can be queen, goddammit! <laughs> How Elo expresses her personality is up to you. Choose... And Elo will confront the challenge directly. Choose, okay, the brain physical... So, so, and Elo will use her insight to find a clever, less obvious approach. Choose, and Elo will express compassion or give voice to her deepest convictions. Uh, it's a nice thought. Are you kidding? Now's not the time. Ah, don't be horrible. It's a nice thought. Because it is. I do hope to see Meridian again, I thought. And you. But this mission... It's my life. It's all I can think about. I have to stay focused. What happens after... I can't imagine that. I... I wouldn't know where to begin. Well... If 
that place were to end up being Meridian, know that you will always receive a boundless welcome here. Tend to your mission, Aloy. I will hope for your success and look forward to your return. So if I chose, are you kidding? What would she said? Are you kidding? I'm on a really tough mission and the only thing you can do is think with your penis. Maybe. Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say right? You said it fine, Itaman. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? Itaman. I, uh... Itaman. I have to go on an important mission. I heard you are a witch doctor. Save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. And Interman says, We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderdraws, champion. Oh, yeah. And Interman says, My name is not Interman. My name is Umumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumumum
Blech. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> After you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or offices left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> Well, I know. Farewell. You're out. Go! Away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. <laughs> but please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. Alright. Modify your spear. Do it, woman! Spear upgrade installs the must override and new module to enable it to build up and release of kinetic energy in combat. Requires a resonator blast skill to use. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Master override installed. Plus, something new to store up and release energy. A uh, resonator. Should help in a fight. Marad and Ball. Louder. Is that the time? Or do you want to chat some more with your friends? I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Daunt, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. Fears, my friends, tomorrow will be a better day. Is she trying to leave him behind? Come on, that's just stupid. Like, in a world like that, I mean, like, in, like, in, in our world too, like, it's way better not to be alone, whatever you do.
Thunder Jaw. Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the Daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then who would crank it back up? Fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. I see smoke. Rage the dawn. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. To the brink. Sort of machines are causing the trouble. Oh, nice. nasty ones, and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. Strangeness is, they're not native to the dodge. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Oh, well, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross all of them. Boss of chain scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? 
Karja's son priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it. Ah! Great. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides, Scallywag. Wadis. That's Aloy. Studious Wadis. Aloy, you know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the Embassy of Baron Light. The way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the Sun Priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, Scripture. I shall head to Baron Light. When the captain of the vanguard tells me the way is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less... scroll. Vadis. Studious Vadis. Studious Vadis sent Erend and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at David. Hey! Shh, shh. Down the valley then? Yeah, said they check the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey. I'll sit there. All right, gotta remember. Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge, to wait in safety. Sorry, operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to James Grape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. It will be. Trust me. And as guys, thank you very much. This is it for our video and for that video number bar... Oh, actually. Yeah, bar five. To the, to the brink. And I'll see you. In the next time, bye-bye.